What's going on guys? This is Tony with BigBuildingsDirect.com and today I am standing on a ready cured metal building concrete slab. We're going to show you guys how we did this foundation, what we did to make this the best foundation possible for one of our metal buildings coming up. So right here, the first thing we're doing is we're staking out the property and getting the exact measurements of what size building we're putting here and exactly uh, kind of getting an idea of how level the property is going to be. Right now, we think it is level within about 18 inches. Come to find out, it's not. All right, so we got it staked out right here and running into a bit of an issue right here to back there we're about 43 inches out of level so uh, we're gonna either have to figure out a different solution where we're gonna put the building or we're gonna have to get a lot of truckloads of dirt and it's gonna take us all day they said so trying to figure out a solution right now and then uh we've got the laser level right there so they're uh, shooting laser level and seeing exactly what we need to do to make this happen. So first hiccup right now. So off to the races we went. We decided to stick with our original game plan, keep the building and concrete where it originally was supposed to be. And what we had to do was bring up that one side 43 inches. So stay tuned and it's pretty crazy to see the end results. By far one of the craziest things throughout this getting the concrete done was how fast they got this ground level. I mean it was unbelievable how quickly they got it done. All right we're about um, I would say about three to four hours in right now. What you guys can see is they brought up that corner. Um, we're about three quarters of the way there is what they said. So they're working their asses off. And uh, as you guys can see, he's just taking loads of dirt from over there and he's bringing them over here to build that up so it's even. Like I said in the morning, um, one side was 43 inches out of level. So almost four foot out of whack. That's a lot of dirt they have to compress so we can pour that concrete for this building to get put up. So. Main thing is you want to make sure your land's level. Even the guy said, he goes, it looks pretty level. And uh, when we got the laser level out there, it was 40, 43 inches out of whack. So, and uh, even if it's six inches out of whack on a good sized building, it can really wreak havoc on your guys' whole project. So, lesson learned. <laughs> So it's day two, we're out here at the property. They made a lot of headway uh, getting the ground level, but as you guys can see, they had to uh, dig a pond in order to bring up this side of the property over here. As you guys can see right here, uh, this is 43 inches is what it was out of level. So it took something like 60 truckloads of dirt. As you guys can see, a lot of work has been done. There's one, two, three, four, five guys out here right now. They got here at about 7 a.m. today. And look at that. Just to give you guys an idea. So what they're doing right here, as you guys can see, uh, these are one foot by one foot perimeter footings and uh, in the state of Florida that's what they require for steel buildings so make sure that you uh, do your footers 
to what your code needed. Even if you're not pulling a permit, always make sure that your foundation is the most important part of the whole project. So right here, you can see we got our level. Uh, we're not 100% done yet, but this will all be done today. The footers are gonna be dug all around the perimeter of the whole entire building right there. And then tomorrow we pour concrete. And then next week, once the concrete's cured for one week, we are going to put our steel building in and uh, we'll be doing our own anchoring system. Once they install the building, all that'll be done thereafter, um, so. Good morning guys, we're out here in Brooksville, Florida, pouring a 60 by 70 concrete slab, four inches thick. 12 inch by 12 inch perimeter edge around the outside. The two pieces of rebar running the full length of the outside perimeter uh, footing. This particular contractor decided to pour over plastic. It is gonna be a little bit moist here. He didn't want any groundwater coming up, creating uh, moist spots on the finished concrete. They did a inch and a half by three and a half inch ledge where the framing will sit here and the sheeting will actually go down past the edge here, creating a nice seal along the bottom for air and water tightness. What do we call that? That's called a rat ledge, um, a notched edge. There's a lot of straight, uh, slang terms for it, uh, but your concrete contractor will know how to do that. It wasn't until about this clip right here and this is really where I started to get excited when I started to see the finished product and the guys really laying it out making it look nice and kind of the way the 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 trees sparkled off the concrete just really looked awesome and this is where I started to get excited about my metal building these guys they were here starting at 6 a.m. and they stayed all the way till 8 o'clock at night, till from sunup till sundown. They worked their tails off. So I want to give a big shout out to the crew that helped us get this concrete pad done. They did an awesome job. We're going to go into details on the pad, show you guys exactly what we did different in order to make this building uh, foundation the best that we possibly could. We're doing the finishing touches on the concrete pad right now. And we're gonna do a slick finish on this, make it look real nice and very smooth. So as you guys can see right here, around the whole entire building, we have what Pete was talking about called a drip ledge, a notched edge. And what this does is it allows the the paneling to actually go over that little ledge right there and when it rains here in Florida when it's raining on the side and it's running in it hits this ledge right here and it can't go in basically what it does is it flows right off the side of the building instead of going into the building and that's one of the big things you want to do on any concrete slab is make sure that if it does rain that it can't go under that panel or under the base rail and into your metal building because then what happens is you think your roof's leaking when in reality it's under your base rail that is leaking. So big thing right here guys, this notched edge is a lifesaver for our buildings. It's the best way to do the concrete pad. So when you're talking to your concrete guy, make sure to let him know that you want to do this notched edge. And all they do is they lay a two by four sideways and it does it perfectly right there for you. So make sure to let them know about that right there. Next video, we'll be showing you how we install one of these metal buildings from start to finish, coming up. And all right guys, I am back from the concrete pad, back in the office here at Big Buildings Direct. Wanted to say thank you for watching our video. If you guys are interested in a metal building, consider subscribing. And also, if you guys need a bit of building, give us a call, 800-244-4798. And we do have a lot of other customer videos, so take a look.